This hunting trip is long overdue. Yeah, I mean, it's just too bad that all the animals are so spread out, you know? I mean, wouldn't it be awesome if, if, if they were all grouped together, like in a cafeteria, and you could just go in there with a trench coat and just waste them? Well, maybe I can stir up some quail or pheasant with my patented bird calls. Birds, quail, pheasant! Come on out! I'm a bird of the opposite sex who's interested in mating! <gasps> Did you hear that? We're gonna get laid! Billy, Billy, come on. Don't be stupid. Should have taken the shot, fat ass. Ah, ah, hey, Peter, you got your safety on, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, because your gun is pointing right at me. Wait, you want me to pull the trigger and prove it to you? No, I just want to make sure your safety's on. Yeah, see, Quagmire? Safety's on. Now, this is a gun without a safety. Oh! Quite the difference, huh? Damn it, Peter, you son of a bitch! You shot me! Oh, my God, Peter, that might be the dumbest thing you've ever done. No, the dumbest thing I ever did was open that can of whoop-ass. Lois, why did you buy this? It was on sale. Hey, Quagmire, what's with the cast? Did you hurt your arm after I shot you in the arm? The shooting was the injury, Peter. Look, I already said I was sorry like a hundred times. I don't think I like your tone. What? what? You're, you're saying I'm being the unreasonable one? Peter Griffin, you are an idiot. You can't even walk and chew gum at the same time. Peter, come on. Walk over here. I'm doing something. One thing at a time. Damn it, Peter, that's it. I am done. I'm done with you. I'm done with all your crap. I never want to speak to you again. This friendship is over. We now return to Saving Private Ryan, brought to you without commercial interruption by Mazda. Zoom, zoom. Hey, Jerome, can you clear out my booth? Looks like somebody left their trash here. Jerome, can you tell that that to get the hell out of here before I kick him in the face? Peter, why don't you just sit in that booth over there? Oh, man, that's where the after-work secretaries sit. What about Mr. Demerson? Is he single? I, I, I don't know. What about Mr. Adelaide? Is he single? I don't know who that is. Well, who do you know who is single? Uh, I'm assuming you. Oh, oh hey, look, cake! Hey, Joe, hey, Joe, I'm over here. Joe, Joe, come sit with me. Come on, you guys. Joe, I got a box of saltwater taffies, and you can have two. Joe, I got a deck of cards you can put in your wheels to look cool. Joe, I'll do the wavy stomach for you. <laughs> Looks like a real wave. Joe, I can scream your name real loud. Joe, 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 Joe! I can yell it louder. Joe, 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 Joe! What the hell is going on here? I'm in there trying to take a leak. What, you think I'm here to amuse you? You made me dribble on my Bruno Maglis, turning to see who's calling my name. Joe Pesci thought we were talking to him because his name is Joe. Oh, you don't know who Joe Pesci is because you're 14. You see, in the 90s, this was a tough guy. Peter, Quagmire, I've called you here today because this has got to stop. The petty vine for my attention, the late night phone calls, the attack ads. Glenn Quagmire claims to be Joe Swanson's good friend. But would a good friend not return a leaf blower for four months during the leafy season? I'm Peter Griffin, and I broke into a news station to make this. Hey, who's that guy? Yeah! Well, look, you guys have given me no alternative. I have to choose one of you, so I choose Quagmire. What? Suck it! I'm sorry, Peter. It's just that Quagmire's been there for me in some pretty dark days, and he's been a wonderful godfather to Susie. <laughs> There she is, my little Susie Woozy. <laughs> well, I love Susie more. Give me a Susie. Uncle Peter's gonna give you a raspberry. <laughs> Peter, that's not where you do a raspberry. I closed my eyes too early. I think it's best if you leave. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe I'll hang out with my godson, Kevin. Get out! He was masturbating with a knife. Well... Looks like it's just you and me, Shadow. Shadow! All right, Quagmire, I have given this a lot of thought. I need you to shoot me in the arm so we can be friends again. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, 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 I was supposed to offer, and then you were supposed to say, no, Peter, I'm not gonna shoot you, although I do appreciate the gesture. Hand me the gun, Peter. I, uh, I passed the test? No, Peter, I'm gonna shoot you like a dirty animal. But just the fact that I would make the offer is so meaningful to you. Your offer means nothing, Peter. 
The only thing that means anything to me is a bullet in your arm. Now give me that! Stop! Stop! Right, You're not leaving here without being shot! I was trying to do the decent thing! I'm putting that bullet in your arm, Peter! Ah, son of a bitch! It's over. We're all friends again. What the hell, Joe? I'm just trying to settle this nonsense. Nothing got settled. You shot him. I'm the one who has to shoot him. Wait, wait a second. All right, then I get to shoot Joe. All right, he shot me. I mean, if we're doing things fair here, then... Peter, I'm so glad you patched things up with your friends. Am I told you that we're all friends again? Yes, Peter. We were just talking about it. You're going to take me to the zoo and roll me around. You know, we're all friends again. <laughs>